the Regional Auto Theft Task Force took in two teens accused of being connected to an armed carjacking. The arrests come as the police department continues to grapple with reports of groups carrying out a recent rash of robberies. The latest happening in southeast Baltimore just this morning. WJZ is on your corner in Canton. Christina Mendez is staying on top of the troubling trend. Christina, what are you uncovering tonight about this string of crimes? Well, Vic, we know police now are trying to determine whether those two teens were linked to any other recent incidents citywide. They're looking for now three vehicles, suspect vehicles, driven by five to seven juveniles. A series of street robberies and carjacking strike southeastern neighborhoods in Baltimore City again. Home security cameras caught one of the incidents on South Robinson Street in Canton at 5:30 in the morning. Cars pull up. Passengers jump out and target this person's vehicle. Just 10 minutes later, neighbor Nick Knappen says he was walking to his car on the same street to head to work. Unknowingly, he would become the next victim, this time of a robbery. And two cars drove up on me, blocked me like from leaving, and uh, a bunch of kids jumped out. And asked me for basically all my stuff. Victims report to police the pattern of pre dawn crimes in the area may involve a possible group of teenagers. Home security cameras from another incident show just before 5 a.m. near Patterson Park, seven people getting out of two cars and surround this victim. Well, if we could come together just to do something different to redirect the youth, the youth are out of control right now. On Thursday, Baltimore Police Department says the Regional Auto Theft Task Force came across a car taken in a recent armed car. Carjacking from the Southeast District. A 16 year old and a 14 year old are accused of bailing from that car before being arrested. Detectives say the older teen was arrested in August of this year for auto theft. It makes me feel so bad that, you know, an hour and a half they should be in school. I was a coach for many years. It makes me sad to see, you know, kids that were the same age as some of my athletes out here, you know. Doing these crimes when they should be, you know, off having fun doing kid things. And data from the department shows that carjackings are down 24% year over year, while robberies are up 7%. I'm reporting live from Canton tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.